Okay, hi guys, welcome to the channel. This is Waga. We're going to continue with our series on views about Swift UI, and today we're going to be working with a couple of shapes, right? And yeah, that's what we're going to do. So first things first is we could just jump straight into them. The shapes are really important because you can put shapes behind views to make buttons, text fields, um, other views look like the shape, right? So for example, um, if you have a text field and you put a capsule behind a text field, uh, an overlay of a capsule behind a te text field, the text field will start looking like a capsule. So let's look at a couple of shapes, right? And for that we would come here, we don't need this, so we could give ourselves a bit more real estate. And we could come here and say, um, put everything in a VStack, right? And you can never go wrong with a VStack. And um, the first thing we could say is the text of what the shape is. And uh, this is going to be circle, like so. And we're going to say this is going to be, we give it a modifier of dot large title, like so. So we have a big circle there, a big circle. And after that, we could just put a circle. In between and the circle will default to the color of the text right so we have a circle there and we could give it a bit of padding like so so basically that is a circle right and after that we could modify it and the other shapes you could also look at uh, aside from circle we have um, what's it called we have a capsule this is a capsule They're pretty big and ugly and um, we also have an ellipse you could have an ellipse, like so. So basically, let's reduce the size of our simulator. So basically, those are some of the shapes we have. We have um, a circle, a capsule, and an ellipse. Let's continue. Now, another shape we could have is, um, we could have a rectangle. Let's use a rectangle, rectangle. And um, we could make it rounded by calling it a rounded rectangle. Um, why isn't it working? Rounded rectangle, oh yeah, you need to give it a corner radius, right? The corner radius, we could give it a corner radius of nine, right? So here we have a rounded rectangle. So those are some of the shapes. The circle, the ellipse, the capsule, the rectangle, and the rounded rectangle. Those are some of the shapes that we get uh, that come out of the box with SwiftUI. For the rounded rectangle, you have to give it a corner radius and you have to state the corner radius what the value is and then it becomes a rounded rectangle but the rest you don't really have to state uh, the dimensions yeah now the next thing we would note i have a capsule on the screen right let's change this to capsule like so and um yeah now the two types of capsules there there is the rounded corner style circular and rounded corner style continuous so and in the capsule we could pass this as uh, in the brackets you could say you could say um style like so and rounded corner style dot okay. i wish you could just type off from that rounded corner style and there are two options there's dot circular and dot continuous so we could say dot circular you can see the difference and dot continuous Okay, it's a bit wider, I'm guessing. So um, the, the the slope is more gradual, right? So you could do that. And yeah, another thing you could do is you could change the uh, the the color. And for that, you would say, um, let's, let's change the color of this. And for that, we could say dot fill. And in the field, we could say the color we want. Um, we could say color dot purple. We like purple here. So it changes to purple. Another way you could change the color, uh, there are two ways, I believe, is the foreground color. You could say foreground color, and here you could just say purple. We shouldn't see a difference in, in on the image, right? So you could also say foreground dot purple. And you could put it in, you could give it a, a height. Let's give it a height. And for that, we would say dot frame, and we would give it a height uh, frame. Sorry, it's supposed to be the the height is supposed to be inside the frame, right? So here we would say height, and the height is going to be two hundred, like so. So you could decide on, particularly with the circle, you could decide on the 
on the capsule. The capsule and the circle act the same, right? If we change this to circle, it will be... Of course, we'll have to get rid of the style, but it works the same. You just give it a frame and a height, and you could add the color by the foreground color or the fill, right? Yeah, continue. Now, the next thing we could do is, um, supposing you want to only show the outline of the figure, you don't want to show, like, the color is completely filled, like we have here. We would just want maybe an outline, a uh, purple outline. And for that, we could, um, we could comment out this line, make it big like that, and then after that, we're going to add the stroke modifier. We're going to say stroke, and in the stroke modifier, you see now we just see the outline. Let's give it a bit of padding to push it out of the, from touching the edges, like so. We could do padding and we push it inside like that, and we could give it a color, and we could say color dot purple, so that the, the, the outline is colored. You can see, but it's not very wide, so we could make the line thicker. We could say line width is going to be, let's say, 20, like so. Yeah, so you see, that's how you would... Um, that's how, for example, you would put the, the line width. And now we only have the, the outline of the view. We don't have the, the view uh, proper, right? Continue. Now, another way we could size, um, we could size our, one way we could size our, the size of our shape is by either using padding or frame. Now, padding will shape the outside, the space around it, and the frame will shape the space inside. So, for example, padding, we could say padding here is 60 like so and um yeah we have a padding of 60 here and um so the 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 padding around it is going to be set at 60 right and after that another way we could do it is we could use frame let's use frame so you can see so frame is going to be um mm, let's say uh let's give it a height a height of 60 and so we we now have a frame a height of 60 remember the frame will shape the um, the space inside it right so um one thing you need to remember all the time is that this is a this view expands as much as possible it's a view that when you give it dimension it expands to fill as much space as possible right it's not like a text view a text view occupies as little space as possible you see the text occupies as little space as possible the capsule doesn't stretch out the text here capsule the text capsule not the actual capsule the text capsule doesn't expand to fill all this space from here to here but a capsule when we put a capsule it moves all the way to make sure that it touches the edges right so that's that's the main difference between um for example a text view and a cup and a, and a shape view. All shape views expand as much as possible to fit the parent view, right? And that's what happened. So that's why, and the difference between uh, frame and height is that the, pad, the padding and frame is that padding puts the space outside and height puts the space inside, right? So this height here is 60. So for example, if we increase it to 70, if we increase it to 100, you see, the space here, the height, is the one which is now 100, and then the shape um, occupies as much of it as possible, right? So basically, that's how it works. And padding, it will be the space outside, right? Okay, let us continue. Now, the next thing we could do is, um, in our, we have a circle in the middle, we could use the size modifier. Now, the thing about the size modifier is that if you use it, it moves the view out of the center, right? Right now, we can see the view, our view is in the center, right? But if we say size, like so, and in the size, we give it a height, it will be left aligned. We give it a height of 100 and a width of the same. Um, why is it complaining? Size of 100 and a width of Oh, yeah, you have to put height before, I keep forgetting it. Um, there's this weird thing in uh, Swift UI where you have to put width before height. So if we switch it and we put width and height, it becomes, which is the same thing, but I don't know. It's, yeah, maybe it's fixed in Swift UI too. So basically, if you put the width first and then the height, so you put a width of 100 and a size of, let's say, 100, you get it left aligned. It's no longer in the, in the center, right? Like if we come here and do this, you see it will be center aligned. So that's one thing, when you're using the size modifier, you should always remember that. Yeah? Okay. Now, the next thing is, um, a lot of these modifiers can apply to any shape. So if you see circle, it's not only for circle, it could be for rectangle, it could be for capsule, it could be for rounded rectangle, it could be for, what's the other one? Ellipse. So all these all this modifiers, like the size, the frame, the foreground color, the frame, 
uh, at the padding, they could all apply to the others. I'm just giving one example. So if you see circle here, you know that you could probably try it out the same with, um, uh, like for example, the circle doesn't have the the what the rounded rectangle and all that. So um, and you can't give a different height and width for a uh, circle. So but most of them just apply to can apply across the board. Yeah, like the size and width can be different for uh, for a capsule but not a circle. It can be different for a rectangle but not a circle. Right. So how do you use these shapes with buttons? Um, I show, I think I show this in the button video. I've already made the video, but I've not decided on the order that they'll appear. So um, I just thought it's best to show how you could use a circle or a rounded a capsule. A capsule is the most common shape, I believe, when you're using a button, right? And we could come here and do this. And how we would do it is we would say button, like so. And inside the button, and we of course put these brackets. And we go inside the button, and it's not going to do anything. So we can just say action. Uh, so that it doesn't complain much. Uh, we put that in there and then inside we'll have a text view which will say capsule like so and um, we can make the text bold and yeah we can make the text bold like so and then in the button we can give it a background and the background is where we can put the capsule. Now we can say here cap capsule like so and yeah, and so we can have the capsule, but the capsule looks really bad because the color is covering it. We could say, and the capsule, no, note that when you put the capsule here, it doesn't go around the entire text. It doesn't push out as much as possible because um, the text is a collapsing view. It collapses on itself. It implodes. This one explodes outside. So that's why it's like this. If you put the capsule itself, the capsule will occupy as much space as possible. But if you put the text view inside the button, it will collapse on the text view. Yeah, that's one thing you should know. So we could give it a stroke. In this case, we could say stroke, and in this stroke, we could say um, color dot. What color do we give it? We give it the color dot purple and uh, line width of about two, like so. So if we run it, we can see it a bit better. Let's look at our, yeah, so basically you see the capsule, it's a bit, um, let's make it a bit larger, large title, like so, and we resume, and we hit this button, and we make the capsule a bit bigger, and we should see our button in capsule. So that's how you put it behind, you could do the same with uh, a circle, you could put a, a rectangle behind it so that it can expand. It can shape the cups, you can shape the button. Now we have a button here called capsule, it doesn't look too good, right? But basically, you could actually um that's how you would use this. That's how you use the shape. You use the shape as backgrounds of other views to make them look like what you want them to look like, right? Okay. Our capsule, our button doesn't look too good. First, let's put it a bit, let's give it a bit of padding, like so, and we give it a bit of padding, and now it expands and it looks a bit better. And so I think that's all that I have to say about uh, shapes. And remember, most of these modifiers can apply to any one of the, the various views, right? Any of these modifiers can apply to any one of the various views. Many, many, not any. Many of the modifiers can apply to any of the various views. I was just using one. You could make this um, a capsule, a circle, a rectangle, a rounded rectangle, or an ellipse. Ellipsis. Yeah, well, yeah, an ellipse. An ellipsis. So basically, what what's it called? Is it called an ellipsis or I think I'm getting the name uh, mixed up. Um, ellipse, right? Ellipsis are the dots. An ellipse, yeah, yeah. I'm getting it mixed up. Been recording many videos today. Anyway, um, yeah. So basically, that's all there is to know about. Uh, all I have to say about shapes. The other things, but the main thing, the main reason we have them is to put them behind or on views to make sure we shape the views to look like what we want them to look like. Um, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, like the video and leave a comment in the comment section if you have any. I will see you in the next video. Okay.